Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. I'm barreling through a bunch of demos in the Steam Next Fest, and this is one of them, Katoman. I've been looking forward to this game, and it has been available a couple of times, but this is the first chance I've had to actually get to it. Hyper Auto Battlers. Basically, as far as I know, this is Pokemon meets uh, Super Auto Pets meets a roguelike, maybe. Um, let's let's give it a go. This is a blind play, so I, I don't yet know how to play it, but I am familiar with um, its kind of adjacent genre mechanics. So let's take a look. Welcome to the world of Katamon. If you need help, uh, there is some info in the menu marked. Okay, let's. Uh, so maybe maybe light on this tutorial, but that's okay. We'll we'll uh, we'll get through. We'll we'll figure it out. Monku, Belief. Freeze. I've been really enjoying um, the dev has been posting their like, you know, the art that has been uh, being made for this game uh, as, it, as it comes. And I, I really do appreciate this kind of like mash of uh, super auto pets, almost emoji style art meets like a, a fresh take on like Pokemon. And uh, I think it's really working. And I think some of these creatures are like really cute and like very uh, original looking. So fast gain, 0.1 bonus speed per stack. Remove one stack on attack, multi-strike on attack. Attack again. So, you know, the, I think one of the best ways you can play these kind of games is just just, just buy something, see how it works. Um, I think it's also maybe a good way to, like, develop these games because, like, if you see that, you know, people can't tell the difference between, like, what a creature does or what a creature doesn't do, then maybe those effects need to be more pronounced or more, you know, like, um, what's well, not accessible, but, you know, like, uh, readable. You know what I mean? So, we have a little gnome friend. Is the gnome friend someone we get to when we start the game? So, yeah, this is, a, this is our auto battle style uh, portion of the game. And we are fighting a, a worm. He is a worm lad. And uh, we beat him, so we get to take him, I guess. Uh, effect gain 10 thorns and 100 shield. Thorns on hit deal 1 damage. That makes sense. Um, I'm not really understanding what's below that, but if I can kind of parse, it might be that uh, it means they're strong against certain things or weak against certain things, or it might even mean uh, when we upgrade them. I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. That's fine. We have knock. So Nock is our little gnome friend. Um, before we do this, can I... Is this... Okay, yeah, this lets me look at our creatures. So this is Nock. Nock is, seems to have no effects. So maybe they're just like a little extra friend that we get when we start the game. Um, I'm assuming eventually we're going to want to get rid of them um, in favor of other more meaningful creatures. And on the left side here, I'm assuming these are uh, our synergies. So we can see that we've already gotten two earth type creatures. And what is the, like par for the course for these kind of like um, uh, drafting games is that uh, you, you want to take creatures that synergize with each other so that they can do more. They can be more effective. It tends to be that they, they get more um, kind of stacking effects the more of them you, you have in, our, uh, in your team. So how do we get back to the map? There's the open map. Let's get back to uh, fighting some creatures. So we're fighting um, a Tadmir, which uh, heals one health per stack every 0.5 seconds, removes one stack each time. And then we're fighting a Zipstrat. Grant an ally in front and behind 10 splash. So this is where the auto pet thing comes in, um, is a, your formation where you have creatures. Uh, will actually kind of matter. So let's let's have a quick look. Remove one stack on attack. So this one doesn't seem to do anything different on hit, deal one damage per stack to attacker. So it might be that uh, we actually benefit from moving Rockhorn to the front because we want them to be attacked more often. Oh, they, I think they maybe apply thorns to everyone. So that's fine. And they're taking they're taking damage when they hit us. We seem to be doing pretty well for ourselves. No one's dying. We're taking damage, but we're you know no one's no one's no one's taking a, a huge amount of damage. I'm gonna turn up the music a little bit. I have actually just noticed I haven't been hearing it too well. Um so we've got neither of these synergize with any of our uh, effects as far as I can tell but th that being said that doesn't matter right now because it, I think we have four 
uh, slots. So we want to fill those slots and then maybe, um, you know, build into a synergy as we move on. Units gain 30 experience. Units gains this type if possible. Interesting. Does that include knock? Choose one bonus to apply. Uh, drag a Katamon onto the slot. Oh, could we apply earth to this style? To this, is that gonna work? No? What about this one? Okay, yeah, so that one would apply. So we could keep knock if we wanted. Um, so they gain experience. This is news to me. I guess that's that extra bar below them. Um, can I, let's just apply Earth to Knock, and that way they're they're synergizing with us, and we can still like we still have flexibility to replace them later. I have mentioned previously in in many uh, videos now that I am kind of tired of seeing like the same kind of like roads, uh, you know, pathway level select screen in like every single uh, roguelite or deck builder or drafter. I kind of wish that we would. Um, see a little bit of innovation in that regard but i know that it's it's tough and and uh, everyone's kind of agreed that uh, reinventing the wheel is is not what we want to do but still the same i i feel like it's just like uh assumed to be what what we want in every game so we've got another monku i'm assuming that if we were to take this other monku um then we could maybe level up our current monku but we'll see Okay, there. Everyone's been poisoned. I didn't really look at uh, these these creatures. I don't know if there's much we can do in terms of strategy. I think our formation is fine. On attack, deal one damage per stack to all other enemies. Oh, that's if we split. Grand ally in front and behind ten splash. Oh, so they want to be in the middle. So yeah, if we take Monku, then we are giving thirty XP to our current Monku. Ooh, I like this Mushiki. Mushiki seems to have something going on. And then Beery. Berry? I like these designs. Appealing is cool. They level up, by the way. The, 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 the creatures evolve, and there's art assets, as I, as, as I understand it, for each evolution, which is something I really appreciate. All right, so let's put Zipstrat in the center because they, they want to apply Splash to in front and behind. And so they'll be more effective if they're in between two creatures. Wow, there's a lot going on right now. Zipstrat didn't uh, grant ally in front and behind Splash. They didn't do it. Do it. Oh no. Okay, Monku is is poisoned. That's fine. It seems it doesn't seem like anyone's taking damage. I think um something I'm I'm a little lost on is like what um I'm really strategize like how am I trying to strategize, I guess. Um so we do have Zipstrat. Zipstrat doesn't isn't really building in in anything, so I don't know if I want to build towards that. I do want to take one of these, but um I guess like I could put them in our in our draft box in case i want to like kind of hedge our bets a little bit okay so this does tell us what we're going to be fighting so i guess what i would like to see ah uh, okay all okay, right all right i i'm seeing i'm seeing the strategy here so um when you hover over it at the top there you'll see toxic grass and i mean it's the same kind of thing in pokemon as you like oh you know we have a Ice, ice dusk. I know that like so, some of my um, Katomon have like fire water, and they're gonna do some more damage, or they're gonna be more effective against that team. And we also seem to have like percentage, so maybe um, it's showing us the pool, but we're not guaranteed to see uh, some of these. Uh, I guess what those are the teams. So like maybe there's a five percent chance we only see the one at the bottom. I'm, I'm learning as I go here, but I, I think that things are readable enough that I, I am parsing things together. We got another peeling. So that's, you know, we could get another peeling and level up our peeling. Wait, is that a special ability? Effect. Okay, so 
I think that the yellow bar, uh, the only the only grant in front and behind when they fill up their effect bar. Oh no, we're not doing so well right now. Okay, uh, I think taking out that big big lad was uh, the the you know the best hope we had. Okay, okay, okay. We we made it, but only barely. Um, since uh, Zipstrat isn't really uh, building into our team much, we could swap out for a peeling and then take that peeling to level them up. So we got a rest area. If we could level up our Monku, that wouldn't be a terrible idea. Also, giving Rockhorn wind or air type might not be bad because then we're building into this. These, uh, by the way, we, we can have a look here. Um, Earth, uh, on hit, deal one damage per stack to attack or remove one stack on hit. And I'm not sure how it is being improved. Oh, okay. On start, gain 100 thorns. So that there you go. Um, so if we got another Earth type on the field, then we would get 300 thorns. So in theory, we would be doing a lot more damage when we when we get hit. Meanwhile, with air, on attack, gain uh, 20, 30, or 40% chance to gain multi-strike. So if we gave Rockhorn air, it would give them the potential to um, get multi-strike. I honestly think, though, that we should level up Monku because I want to see the next evolution of Monku. So there they go. They go, they're Chimpfire now. Chimpfire. So we have physical air. I don't know if Earth and... Uh, Earth fire is good against physical air, but we could give give it a go. But look at Chimpire. Oh, he's a he's a big lad now. Effect gain four fast and one multi strike. Nice. Um, we have a Zumbus. So Zumbus is the next version of Zipstrat. They're the evolved Zipstrat. Um, I don't think I don't know if maybe yeah okay so beat him up. Is it level two? I love I love the inventiveness of this of this game. So what what are these in the mi middle? Grant all allies twenty energy. Oh, are these items I could have been using? Grant all allies ten splash. How do I use these? Can be played by dragging into the battlefield during combat. Oh, okay. On hit, take one bonus damage per stack. On hit, deal one damage per stack to attackers. Rusty scissors grants all allies thorns. Why don't we go ahead and do Lost Anchor, maybe? We can also pause combat. So now that we're in combat, we could, like, you know, play this battery pack, maybe. Does it ha Do we have to be in combat? Well, that yeah, okay. I think that that is um, a little funny. I'd like to be able to uh, play items while I'm in pause. Okay, we're not doing well here at all. So good to know air uh air physical is maybe strong against some of our of our creatures. That being said, Chimpire is absolutely tearing up. So we are gonna win nonetheless. Yes! Peeling leveled up into Banuk. We have Gruber. So Grubber is what uh turns them in, it turns into um beat em up. And then we have another zip strat. Um Let's take Zipstrat, and we did evolve them into a Zumbus. <laughs> I feel I feel a little goofy with some of these. Uh, oh, we have another Chimpire, or whatever you call them. Uh, yeah, Earthbug seems like a good one to go for, because we, we could maybe get another Earth-type. So we got... Oh, the, these guys are leveling up, so we've got a Worment. Worment is our, our evolved form of our Rock Worm. Um, since Banuk leveled up, I don't want to swap out for Zumbas, but Zumbas could still be better in some ways. I'm not sure. Grant's ally is 200 explode. On death, deal one damage per stack, split evenly to all enemies. Okay, let's, uh, let's use that. Because I, 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 I'm, we'll see how Banuk does. Rockherm is going to die and deal some nice damage. I definitely want to swap out Nock. If Nock didn't have that um, Earth 
effect, then they would have been like made redundant a while ago. Oh God, this isn't going well. Hold on, I'm gonna pause and see if there's anything I can help. Decay unit takes one damage per stack every five seconds, remove one stack each time. Gain 0.1 bonus speed per stack, remove one stack on attack. I don't know if I can salvage this. On hit, take one bonus damage per stack. Well, I'm gonna die, so I may as well like do what I can. Let's uh, use a bunch of items. I might have, I might be able to save this. Yes, just barely. Um, so I would like to. Oh, uh, rock or, or grubber doesn't have any. Isn't an earth type. Uh, let's take bear, uh, bay barrel, bay barrel. They're rare. They're rare and they are an earth type. This is good. So we have bug toxic, bug dusk. Not sure. I guess what we could do is uh, we should be able to see what things are strong against. So Chimpire is good against um, fire, leaf, ice, toxic, bug. This is good. Um, well, let's take out Benuk, and now we're going to have a full earth type. I really feel like having Nock on our team is hurting us. Uh, so it might be a better idea to swap out for Zumbas, and then maybe when I get to a rest period, I'll give Banuk Earth type, and that way, um, they can continue, they can be a bit more relevant. Um, so we could do Bug Toxic. I think I'm strong against Bug Toxic. Or we could do Bug Dusk. Let's do Bug Toxic. And then hopefully we get another, oh, we got the rare, we got the rare, uh, I was hoping for that rock arm so we could level up rock arm uh, finally. But we should be strong against this, I think. We are strong against toxic, which they all are. And we are strong against bug, which I believe they all are. No, only only beat em up is, is a bug type. But anyway, I think we should be okay. I think really the, the thing that's hurting us and the thing that you gotta remember about Drafting games is like leveling up your characters is more important than having synergies. So even though Rockworm synergizes, um, it's more important to have a full team of leveled up characters because they they are more effective. Our level are these guys are doing a much better job. The barrel is uh, is actually holding their own. They're doing a pretty good job. There we go. So what do we want? Um, don't really have anything that synergizes with any of this. We could start building a toxic build. We have a barrel. I think it would be better in some ways to take a, um, like Katamon that have only two traits because then we can give him another trait down the line. Ah, here we go. Rest area. So let's see what we can do. We could give someone toxic. We could give Chimpire Toxic, and that way they synergize with the barrel. Or we could give something 30 experience and level them up finally. Um, I kind of want to level up Rockhorn. I feel like Rockhorn's in the wrong place. Maybe if I put Chimpire in the front, he'll take some more Brunt. And then Rockhorn will be able to... Maybe, the, maybe they're not leveling up because they need to survive to get the experience. I'm not sure. Uh, I really... Okay, how much experience do they have? 40... I think they have 40, so if I give them 30, they'll level up. Yes, and now they're Wormorant. Grass, Lightning, I think we're pretty good. Uh, well, I, are we strong against Lightning? We have one Lightning type. Um... I, yeah, I think we... I think Earth is good against Lightning. Okay, so we could do lightning, or we could do bug ice, and then hope we get that war um, warmant. I, I'm I'm uh, doing a bad job of uh, keeping an eye on these these names. Oh, but this uh, this guy is quite rare. No, oh, no, they're common. Never mind. It's Ka uh, Kama Yettle. That's rare. So I mean, we've got we've got it all in this game. We've got rare types. We've got a lot of different types. I love the art. 
I, I think this game is 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 a really it's it's really cool. Like I've I've been really enjoying tracking this game because it's like the development from like zero to now has been pretty uh pretty intense. So the problem with having our our hardest hitter in the front is that when they die, we're we're losing quite a lot of attack power. And they are shielding themselves. Who is shielding them? Because this is not good. Let's get some thorns on there and then also add... Let's just use all of our items. We need to get rid of that shield. Oh god, who is shielding them? Oh god, Howler. Howler is, is applying shield to all of them. This seems like ridiculously overpowered. No, we're gonna lose. Yeah, there's nothing I could do there. Um, is uh, are we are we done? Doesn't seem like we are. Okay, we seem to we we we're, we're still going despite the fact that we lost. Oh, I see. We have uh, player health. Okay. You're wandering through a glittering cave. A continuous crunching clamor can be heard deeper in the cave. A deposit of beberel are unearthing and munching down on rare minerals and gems. We could feed them and gain a beberel. That seems like the obvious choice. 10% fight one beberel or gain one beberel. Curious, 90% fight four beberel. Unit de gains decay and beberel effect. Now let's do this uh, feed. Yeah, and we just leveled up our Babarel. Let's, um, oh, fire bug. I really want to get that rock horn. Yeah, let's get that rock horn. Ooh, is this a level three rock horn? Level three rock horn is a worm monger. That's really funny. I like that a lot. Okay, we have lost anchor. I don't think that we should have too much trouble here, but I could be wrong. Something we could do is swap out Zumbas and put knock back in but like at the very back unless there's something that deals damage on the at the back then we should be we should get our full thorns i could this could this is a risky strategy it may not pay out we'll see what happens can we we can't swap them out now Yeah, they're de they're taking a lot of damage from the extra thorns. Oh, they can attack the back. I wonder if they just attack randomly. I'm not sure what the deal is there. Oh, I guess they have thorns as well. So when we hit um, Warmonger, we're we're taking extra damage, and they have a lot of health. So that is a big bummer. Ah. Oh, we killed everyone else. We just need to kill Warmonger, but he is really tough. No. All right. Well, we'll take we'll take uh, Rockhorn. Get some level, uh, some experience. We might even be able to level them up. Can we level them up? They need forty. So no unit typed. Uh, well, Nock will level up. Let's see what the leveled up version of Nock is. It, it's nothing. We, there's no, there's no second form of Nock. Oh, there's, what, who's that knocking? Epic. Who are all these lads? Nock, Nock Hardy. <laughs> well, uh, I really don't hold out a lot of hope to win this. TBH. We'll try our best. I'm not sure uh, what I'm like doing unoptimally. Um, we'll, we'll we'll see. The good news is that we they are taking lots of damage. Uh, that king is gonna take a lot of damage. They have a lot of health. We have to we have to oh these these lads are also buffing the king. As we as we progress, oh no! Oh, we can we we are getting shield on uh, our warm lad. If we could have leveled up our warm lad, we might have stood a chance. I don't think we got anyone to level three. 
We got everyone to level two, but I don't think that really meant much. I will say we're getting pretty close. Come on. Ah! Oh. Shoot. All right. Well, let's uh, let's leave it there. I I, I really like this. I, I think it does need um, some polish here and there. Um, there's a couple of things that could be a bit more readable, but I think I figured things out pretty well considering there was no tutorial. So um, I, I I like this game a lot. I, I'm looking forward to seeing more of it. I don't think it's the kind of game I would play. I would do a series for on the on the channel, but it's definitely something I would play in my own time. I played uh, quite a lot of Super Auto Pets and I enjoyed it. And I would like to see um, sort of like single player versions of that game. So I think that this is going to scratch an itch for a lot of people, especially those looking for more like kind of um, Pokemon esque or like monster collecty kind of games. I think this is going to going to do it for for those. And I mean, like, you know, I'm not seeing any meta progression. And personally, I like that. But I would like to see that, you know, maybe um, you can unlock more more Katamon um you know just to have some extra replayability but i'm sure that's something they're going to work on uh when they when they uh re you know release the game but hey katamon have you played it uh let me know in the comments let me know what you think of this game and if you enjoyed the video definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time take it easy